April 12th, 2019. Beautiful day out today. It's about 55. Might even be 60. Bees are in and out like crazy. Bringing pollen back. They're doing their thing. Uh, I took the insulation off. Obviously, I have to pull those strings up still from that. Um, took the two-inch insulation off the other night when it was cool out. Just kind of carefully clipped the strings and pulled it off. And then uh, last night, I took uh, the hive covers on the left and right hive off and took the one-inch insulation out of the top of those. The cover on the middle hive uh, didn't really want to come off too easily, and I didn't want to fiddle with them too much at night. Um, so I'm going to go put on my new bee suit and pop that cover off and get that insulation out of there. And uh, I might have a look in that top super and see what's in there for uh, honey and resources and all. Um, just uh, haven't opened these hives since I got them and I want to uh, check them out and uh, see how they're doing. So that's that. Well, so this is my first time ever opening a beehive all by myself. Uh, I've taken the inner cover off. I took the insulation out, and you can see they've been chewing at that, so I probably will not put styrofoam insulation on a cover again. I don't like that. And I saw a bunch of spiders run off, and you can see some moths have tried to get going in here. We don't want that either. I know enough to know that. I'm just kind of keeping the smoker going here. I actually just gave them a little puff before I uh, removed that uh, inner cover, which is this. Uh, but they don't really seem to be disturbed by me being here at all. Um, I just thought I would give you a peek inside here. They definitely don't like the camera. Uh, anyway, so you can see that those combs actually don't have a lot in them. So uh, looks like they went through a good portion of their resources over the winter. And I see quite a few bees clustered around in here. And I don't know what they're doing here yet. Because I don't have enough experience to say that. But I think I'm going to pull one of these frames out and just have a look at it. Probably one from the outer edge based on what I've uh, read, studied, and seen on YouTube. So I'm going to set the camera back over here uh, so you can watch from a distance. And I'm going to go back to uh, learning about bees.
else up here and on these frames you can see all the bees in there working at least I hope you can Ooh, there's one with pollen on them where is he three oh right there ah now I got the camera lined up yeah so he's uh He's just come in with resources. So that's interesting. I'm just going to kind of pan around the, uh, the frames here. Let you get a look. I'll try and get a little better zoom. I can't really see too well through the veil of the suit, the camera screen. So I'm kind of running on virtual guidance as far as where the camera is actually aimed. Anyway, this is uh, really exciting. This is going to be a lot of fun. What a really interesting creature. So much to learn about bees. Well, anyway, I would say that this colony looks pretty strong. I, I'm not sure if this is the cluster that's come up from the bottom as they've burned resources from the bottom, or if this is uh, expanded work zone or what. I'm half tempted to take this top box off and look underneath. But I don't want to disturb them too much, and uh, I really want a beekeeper who's more experienced here with me to look into that. So I think I'm going to get a hold of my friend Matt, uh, or uh, I also put in a call to uh, someone I met last fall named Larissa. Um, and we'll see if one of them can come over and just uh, pop these open and take a closer look at with look at look at it with me, uh, with a little more context about uh, what's going on there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this top cover back on, um, and I'm going to pop off the cover on the other side, other hive on the far, over that way, that hive, say insane, and uh, we'll go from there. And I'm low battery, so I might run out of battery, so if I run out of battery, I apologize. Brief uh, 
post operation clip. Uh, so overall that was my first time ever opening a beehive uh, by myself or with anyone else. I've never actually opened a hive before. So that was an interesting experience. Uh, pretty zen, pretty calm. Uh, so that's very nice and it's really exciting and interesting to study bees on such a close level. Uh, so that's fantastic. Um, so I, I'm just going to share this video. This video obviously is not for someone to learn from. This is me learning. Uh, just kind of documenting my learning curve. Uh, so as we go on I'll do more bee videos and I'll get into more detail and uh, as I evolve further up we'll, uh, we'll do some interesting studies and experiments and that sort of stuff. But uh, that's all, all down the road. Uh, anyway, uh, successful first time opening my hive. Uh, stayed totally calm, didn't feel uh, at all nervous. Uh, I attribute a lot of that to my mom keeping bees when I was young and I would start to smoke her for her, and I would be around the beehives within, you know, 50 to 100 feet while she was working in them. So uh, I was kind of quite comfortable with being around honeybees. On flowers in the summer, I often will catch, you know, kind of catch one off the flower and let them crawl up my finger. I really, uh, I really enjoy watching them and studying them. They're such an interesting creature. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to do so down below. I'm not sure I can answer them, but uh, I'm always glad to respond. Uh, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network, and we'll look forward to future bee videos.